Also, greetings, Big Sugar. I almost missed you there for a second. Okay. The group would disband for no apparent reason right after that. Oh, that's the quest I just did. Yeah, let's just start here. Oh, I'm here. Hello, everyone. I'm C. Morgan. This is Twitchy Tuesdays. Here on DDO's stream, starting a little bit early. Um, not sure this might be a short stream today. Got some personal things going on, and I'm not sure how long. Hello, everyone. Oh, hey, look, I've got uh, audio on somewhere. Let's see, Morgan, this is Twitchy Tuesdays. Hey, look, there it is. All right, let's do that. I love when that happens. It's awesome to uh, double up your voice like that. Used to have special gear to do that. Those audio effects. There we go. I want to make sure I'm hosting myself. I forgot to check that earlier. Nope, I'm not. Now I am. Okay. So now I'm hosting DDO stream, which is good. Video looks like it's working. Yay. And I was in the middle of skating, which is a great time to stop and do stuff like that. So I lost a few seconds in skating. That's okay. Not a big deal. At this point, I'm really not concerned about it. I've done quite a bit of skating. I didn't really realize just how much... Uh, oh, I should probably try for this. Ah, uh, missed it again. I've gotten that a couple times. <clears throat> I realize just how much um, being VIP and having that extra skate per day and not really wanting to use it some days, it, they kind of build up. And uh, yeah, makes you glad the event doesn't last very long. Because as fun as skating is, I, um, yeah. I'm okay if I don't do it very often. Uh, it's being jerky again. It does that sometimes. And I'm already slow. Yeah, I, sh I should be already over here. Like, well over here. By now. Got about 11 seconds to get this stuff going. Um, let's see if I can get these for a couple quick points. And then I got a boogie to the end. There's the TikTok, which means I'm getting really close. Let's see if I can actually make it. 
one more gold. We made it. That was a crappy score. But, you know, more moats, another cold resistance five, even though I don't have any ones or threes, because ones and threes aren't dropping for me. I've got some five, seven, tens of both fire and cold, but I don't have one, three, fives dropping. So I may have to just do the... I mean, I've got plenty. I'm sitting on 12 right now. I might as well. Just not worry about it. And take some onesie twos. I've got moats. I don't really need the moats. So I got one this round. <clears throat> so anyway, I uh, can't remember what's going on with this character. I'm a legendary dreadnought. Oh, because I'm trying to fill out the marshal. That's what I'm trying to do. So I need to finish up legendary dreadnought here. Get Shadow Dancer going. I really want to get over to Primal and get to Primal Avatar. So that'll probably be the next bit I do here. This is a static group character, so it's mostly run once a week in our static group. And I tell you, it was fun for a long time, and now the power is just not there anymore. It's pretty sad how little power I have now compared to what I used to. I don't know if there's much I can do until I get <clears throat> well, better gear, for one. I just redid the SO's uh, Druid with better gear, and that seems to have helped survivability there. I played a little bit to catch that character up with the rest of the group. Um, but this is based on LSD's champion or uh, challenge farmer build. And it's been working pretty well. Except that um, yeah, here in Epics, it's just not holding up. That's really annoying because I was really enjoying it. Thinking. I'm going to be getting rid of some healing amp. And most of the time, somebody in the group casts greater heroism on me. So that's four. Five, six, eight points there. I don't really want to give up teleport. I can give up eight points there. But I don't know what I grab instead, so. <clears throat> I don't use a lot of this stuff. Yeah, maybe I'll get this Earth Stance stuff. <laughs> Glaciation 48, awesome. Not what I needed. Or is the Phoenix Bane in our group? Less restoration. How do I have restoring the bell? Oh, I see. You toggle those. No, that's not worth it. I don't know. Surely there's something I need to do to be more powerful. Other than gear. <clears throat> yeah. 
Yeah, I got two. <clears throat> Sorry. I'm still holding on to whatever that was that I had a couple weeks ago. Oh, my bag's full of moats. How about that? Yep, I have 10,000 moats there. So, I'll have to dump those in my bank at some point. I've got a couple things here I'm looking at possibly swapping in. I'm trying to figure out what I can do. I just grabbed a, yeah, we just took level 24, so. Gotta swap things around and see what I can do. Gear wise. And I want to upgrade my Thunder Four Draps. I need to get some uh, watch my jiggers to upgrade those. Yeah. I'm trying to figure what else I want to do here. I gotta swap some stuff around. All that. Did that one end? No, because I have two. I'm still doing it. Uh, it's the 43 second timer, I think. Almost done. So, yeah. Do a couple more rounds of this and then swap over to Shaw and see if I can get going there. Uh, festival does end this weekend, so. It's the last time on stream here to show it off. There's the ticker. And cold resistance seven. Not good. I'll go ahead and do another good run here. In theory. Actually the first good run I've done tonight. I think I did a, a run or two this morning, just to burn some of the things. I said this before, but it's just frustrating that you can get a nice path down and have an okay run and you still don't get a good amount of things because uh, just uh, is the wrong setup that time. Let's see if I have another one I can get. Nope. Oh well. So a lot of this is luck as to how high you can get your score. Because, for example, there's two purples that if I had the high jump things, I could have gotten. But uh, those high jump things didn't appear near them, so I couldn't get them. That's all there is to it. And that's an extra, what, 100 piece, something like that. That I couldn't get because they weren't there. Yeah, I'll go ahead and pop off for that one. Well, that was nice. Uh, somebody else is ticking down and I hear it. It's annoying. <laughs> like, wait a minute, that can't possibly be me. I barely started, how am I ticking down already? Well, I'm not really. 
couple speed ups, that'll help. Please help me get back here. Uh, yeah. Thought I saw it. Yeah, there's another doubler. Be good. If I can get some more good ones to double. That figures. There we go. That's better. Get a doubler and then don't get anything to double. It's annoying. Oh, it just wore off. There we go. Go for a thousand. That's a decent score. I knew I could do it. But see how much of a difference those doublers make? It's amazing. Now, I don't know if it's me, but the uh, little creatures that pop up, I still see them, but they don't actually stick out. They like appear just for a second and then they disappear, like right there. I don't know if you guys saw one, but one was like right here somewhere. They don't stick around to actually target and use anymore to get the buffs, which is annoying. Another one. I feel like they used to stay around longer and be more visible so you could actually hit them. Oh well. Alright, well I'll leave this character here. And I'll go... Uh, yes, I log out. Just because I switched windows doesn't mean I want you to stop logging out. I feel something like the game doesn't understand me as well as it should. It should know what I'm trying to do. Whoa, the back of my chair isn't catching. Oh, hey, look where I'm... I must have stopped after doing some veil stuff and not uh, remembered to uh, go redo stuff. Okay. So I think I'm going to go to the ship first. Get some buffs going on and probably repair and sell and then we'll see what we can do about getting this last bit of XP I need. I really want to be in epics. Actually, I really want to be done with this character and reincarnate back into something else. Which I still have not decided what that's going to be yet. There are some options. I just don't know what I feel like. Come on, there we go. That's better. Nope, I didn't need to repair. Thought I did. Some of this stuff could be... Hey, Corvin. That's exciting. I want a corner. That'd be fun. Nice and quiet back there. Probably less traffic for your uh, camera when you're casting. Yeah. Still... Sounds like a fun spot to be. I'd like to be in a corner. I don't have a... Well, people pick my row to come down a lot. Let's put it that way. So I get a bunch of traffic next to my cube normally. So yeah, it'd be nice to have a nice quiet corner. All right, let's see what's going on. Hey, Edward. How's it going? Oh... I can do Lords of Dust. I don't care. That's fine. Fine by me.
And yeah, of course, moving desks a bit of a pain, but once it's over with, it's good for a while. I need to fi figure out if I can get my desk to be configured for standing. That's what I need to do at work. <clears throat> go up and go through the harbor that way. We'll do that. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, hey, Cordovan. I don't... I know you're into... Um, the old classic video game collection thing. I am going to be in Japan in a couple months and I will be going to Super Potato probably or something of the type. So if there's anything you want me to look for while I'm there, let me know. So it's something like Atari cartridge, so I can probably bring a couple back, you know, my luggage, not a big deal. As long as it's something like that that's nice and small and easy to deal with. So, yeah, if there's anything you're particularly interested in, you want me to look for, let me know. Persona poster? I can probably swing that. Like, original Persona, or one of the current ones, or... Are you that picky? Yeah, I have no idea. I'd have to look. And of course, I have no idea what prices would be either, but, you know. Just let me know. Okay. I can certainly put on a list to look for when I'm out there. Still a couple months away, but we're in the planning stages. Got plane tickets, got some Airbnbs to stay at. Just need to figure out uh, some other transportation and the like. But I'm looking forward to it in some ways. Just it's a such an expensive trip. Oh my gosh. But it'll be fun. It'll be just over two weeks of travel and most of the time we'll be in Tokyo but we're also hitting um, Kyoto, Osaka and Himeji so. it'll be different from my previous trip to Japan where I only went to Tokyo oh man this whole chain's going to be cake if this guy keeps doing this crowd control stuff. Makes things so much easier. And we still got to figure out all the places we're going. I know we're going to Akibara. We're going to Mandarake and soft map and such, but I don't know. What else? I want to go to Japan Sword, Ghibli Museum. Uh, <clears throat> obviously interested in the video gaming and the anime stuff. Uh, let's see, what do I have that on? Is it on 12? That's on 12. All right. I want to go to an arcade. Mostly going with people who have been, but the SO has never been before, and I think some of the other people haven't been. I'm not exactly sure who all is going at this point, but there's a big group of us going. And 
I don't even know what other stores there are around to even look for. So do a little more research on the used gaming and anime sections of things. who accompanied Nomen lies on the ground in the hallway ahead. That's cool. Any idea how much that goes for? <laughs> As the path leads down, it begins to look more like a dark and sinister temple, and less like an empty warehouse. Hmm. Not horrible then. <clears throat> well, as long as I see it in Tokyo, I can probably send you an email about it <clears throat> if I find one and figure out what you want to do about it. Probably have to ship something like that back. I don't think I could carry that in my luggage. Are you backing up? I'm trying to kill, kill this here death knight and you keep backing up? I think I got its attention now. It's very refreshing to be able to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with those guys.
One, two, there's a third chest. I thought I saw a uh, champion chest. Hmm. Must have missed it. Hmm. That does sound pretty rare. Yeah. I'm just not much for the classic games. They're so ugly. It's not that they weren't fun at the time, but I just... I've got so many games as it is, I know I'm not going to go play old ones like that. And there's so many new ones I haven't played yet. So. Yeah. The stuff I really want, I can't bring back. Like, I want a couple different arcade cabinets that I'm not going to be able to get. <laughs> can't fit those on the plane. <sighs> they won't fit my carry-on. I want a Dance Maniac, second Appendage Paradise. I want uh, a pop and music. I want uh, Beat Mania 2DX. I'd like to have a Guitar Freaks, Drum Mania, Keyboard Mania. Yeah. Sometimes I wish I hadn't gotten rid of all my Atari stuff when I did, but I did. It's been a long time. But then I figured they probably would have gotten ruined if one of my closets flooded or something where I almost lost all my magic cards. Thankfully, magic cards are pretty resilient to water, as long as you uh, take them out and all that. I didn't think the DS had region lock. You'd have to look that up to be sure, but I didn't think uh, it did. I could be mistaken, though. And I used to be big into import games, and I've kind of lost track. The good old days where the GBA came out, and we had a group that all modded ours to have a light in, internal light, which was nice. And they started coming out with the uh, backlit ones. Like, well, that's what I already have, basically. Why do I need that? I don't really know what I'm going to be shopping for when I go over there. I haven't really been watching a lot of anime. I don't really read manga. So, the first time I went, I came back with a suitcase full of laser discs and manga and a carry on full of soundtrack CDs and. All that fun stuff. It's really not worth buying DVDs over there, for the most part. Just give it a 
Jesus. Oh, I remember now. I was avoiding these so I could get the epic rare bonus, but it will. Yep. Alright, see so ya. Yeah, thanks for stopping by. Yeah, Akiba is awesome. I'm sure I'll find stuff, but I just, going into it, I don't know what I'm going to get. I mean, last time I knew what I was after. I was like, okay, oh, I want some laser discs, I want some manga, I want some this, that, but this time I just don't have any ideas on what I'm going to get, look for. But I'm sure I'll find stuff. I also want to brush up on my Japanese before we go. It's been a while. A magical barrier built by the silver flame glows on the path ahead. Dusty remains lie in front of a sealed stone door on the far side of the room. Oh, I to get both of them. Shh. I don't often do that. I'm usually the one standing by the door waiting for somebody else to do it.
Mm. Come on, get out of it. Get out of it. Destroy my holy water, you jerk. Oh, let's go this way. Oops. I went the wrong way. I hate when I go the wrong way here. Hmm. There we go. All right, go ahead and aggro everything. That wasn't why I was going to play this, but that's cool. That's what you want to do. We can do it that way. Oof. See if I can avoid the spikes this time. Yay, no spikes. That's better. Is my I got fifty fire resist? That's not good. Oh. <clears throat> 
two of them died. It's really not good. Presume they went the other way. It should be this way. And had some problems. Oh, the champion has room. Yeah, I can see that. want to do this is so I usually don't do this part but if you want to do this we can do this don't mind You ready to go? Got it, nice. Oh, seriously.
All right, that was worth it for an extra chest, right? Plus six bastard sword of stunning eight. Seems like it could be fun. We have spiders and then shrine. We can shrine first. If nobody aggroes the spiders. Good play. Probably should have done more of that. Somebody aggroed the spiders. Doggy time. Hey, Iron Hands, how's it going? Got it. That's funny. I've already got the one you see. Might as well wait for him to get his magic points back.
Better idea to come back and uh yeah, there we go. Look where the crowd control and dots and AOEs and stuff are. Fight within them. Much easier. You're wasting an awful lot of magic points on nothing, dude. There's one. Hopefully that was the only one that was stuck. Now we can continue. Sadly, these guys get stuck in the train quite often. Hey, Mari, how's it going? I hope you will see anything to drop mine. Archers. I can never remember when the archers come in. Uh, not bad. <sighs> Whoa. Well, that was almost really bad. I was not paying attention to the fact that I was fighting a champion and he was doing damage. Serious damage, real damage. There we go. I had 34 hit points. It was plenty fine. Just not an emergency at all.
It's also closed. Yep. Oh, this whole time I've had the wrong cloak on. But it's the right cloak for this part. Why are people resting? <sighs> Whatever. I don't want a dark storm helm. Looks like we're rebuffing before the next one anyway. Quarter staff, armor piercing plus ten, assassinate plus four. Um, yeah. If I had a build for that, that'd be awesome. Hey, Muffle. I don't have any iron stones. I haven't seen you around much, Malfoy. I saw you in somebody else's chat the other day, but you didn't say anything. I should be okay on inventory space. I'll just That's a good idea. I should be doing those quests. Getting more iron stones. Getting any iron. No, I think I might have one somewhere. On some character in a bank or something. They were actually done the Fruit Loops part. <laughs> Oh, you know, I have things. I have boots, don't I? But I don't know if I have them on or in my inventory. I don't think I have my boots in my inventory. I should grab those from the bank. Plus six arm piercing, ten assassinate. Four, that's awesome. But you rest when you leave the dungeon anyway, right? So what's the difference? As long as you've completed the quest, when you exit the dungeon, you rest automatically and you get all your stuff back. I'm pretty sure my, yeah. Well, oh, they don't recharge per day. That's probably the difference. And I forgot to repair. Oh, well. Yeah, okay. I see what you're saying. I'm seeing what you're saying now. I always forget my displacement. Well, nearly always. Yeah. Yep. I get it now. I understand. Uh, 
I would like to have the stone choices available. I just not run those quests very much. So I do not have them. Oh, I'd like to join Yushimitsu. I would love to run Shroud at level, that'd be fun. It looks like it's open to all, so it's not as much fun. Oh. I need rank 95, don't I? So I'm getting there. Don't have any new green steel. The highest level character I have right now is 24. I reincarnated everybody that was at cap, and I have not gotten back up to cap yet. So it will be a while before I play with the new green steel. I don't have anybody close enough to even run the stuff. I still even have a tier three Thunderforged. Now the caps raise, it makes a little more sense if I'm going to continue doing the iconic thing to go ahead and do the. Um, what should we call it? Get that grind going. Yeah, that's another thing. People already have their gear and they've had it pretty much set for a while, so unless there's a good improvement. I don't know. I do like the new random loot though. able to get some interesting things put together. Not planned, but if you can find the right stuff. Try for the triple jump. Hey, city, how's it going? Glad you could stop by. I said this when I first started, but I'm not sure how many people are around. Not sure how long the stream's going to go today. i got some personal stuff going on this week and need time for it, so. I might cut this short. I might just stop after Spinner here. Be a good amount of XP we got tonight, and that's. Yeah, nothing compared to what we would have had. Mm, epic elite first time, but anyway. You have not escaped it. Some of the flame still burns here. The silver flame guardian speaks. We have driven her back, but will not last. 
Real life has a way of getting in the way of all sorts of stuff. But on the positive side, since last week, I think, got the plane tickets to Japan secured, got our Airbnb housing secured for the entire trip. Even that was a huge pain. Um, and hopefully it turns out, well, have a few more things to do. I think um, we need to make sure our uh, names match passports for the plane tickets, need to get the train pass, and when it gets closer we'll start need to make reservations for like the Ghibli Museum and stuff, but other than that, what the actual heck happened? Oops, I don't need a sneak. Or paladin. Paladin's a sneak. See, in a couple months, I'll be gone for a couple weeks to that trip. So don't be surprised about that. I spend most of the time in Tokyo, um, which I've been to a couple times before. The neat thing about this trip is we're actually going to go um, to Osaka, Kyoto, and Himeji as well, which I've never been to any of those. Yes, it is a good choice. I would highly recommend at least trying. I mean, it's free, so what do you have to lose? You know, download it, try it, see if you like it. Um, obviously, this is the official channel for DDO, so a lot of people here are uh, play, people who enjoy playing and play regularly. But, uh, yeah, it's quite different from a lot of other MMOs. Um, all the quests have a plot. A lot of the plots are intertwined. You'll see a lot of the same NPCs in multiple quests. Uh, some of them come back later when you thought you defeated them kind of stuff. Um, the character customization is unreal in the amount of combinations and stuff you could do. It's pretty unique. And uh, the reincarnation system lets you get a whole bunch more power by going through your levels again with different classes and stuff. Um, there's just a whole bunch to like about it. So I do recommend it. Um, there is a steep learning curve. If you're familiar with pen and paper DD at all, you'll have a understanding of some of the basics and how they work, but things have been tweaked to fit in an MMO, so it's not exactly like pen and paper. But yeah, I mean, it's still being updated, there's still people playing it. You can play the entire game for free, eventually, if you grind enough favor for points that you can buy all the stuff, but there's a good amount of content. Um, in theory, you can play the entire game for free. In reality, you're probably going to want to spend some money on some points at some point, even if you don't subscribe. Um, the subscription has its benefits, and there are sales. So I'm currently on a 15 months for the price of 12 deal, which is basically $100 for 15 months. Instead of $15 a month, it's a pretty significant discount. Um, so if you wait for sales, you hoard your points and use them wisely, you don't have to spend much actual money if you don't want to. And like I said, if, in theory, if you wanted to grind them all out, you could get enough points through just playing the game that you could buy all the content in the game. All the quest packs and expansions and stuff. It's possible. 
um, on Black Friday sales and similar sales. And coming up is the 10th anniversary, so if you're going to play, now is the time because there's going to be a bunch of giveaways and stuff for the 10th anniversary at the end of the month. Um, there might be some sales and stuff as well. And if they're anywhere as good as the uh, holiday sales, then you can get the expansions really cheap. You get a bunch of stuff a lot cheaper than normal. And this channel is known to have um, points giveaways quite often. So you can get some points for free and spend them in the game. So, yeah. There's a subset of the quests that are free to play. Um, your real <laughs> reference for everything in game is ddowiki.com. It's got pretty much everything that uh, you'd want to know is answered there. Not everything for sure, but a lot of it is answered there. The DO forums have a lot of builds if you're looking for a build to try. As a first time player, there's a several first time or new player builds that are in the forums. I recommend a Barbarian or something like that. Um, other people will recommend their own things, but uh, just to get a feel for the game, get started. You know. Yeah. Well, it's a free download, so I mean, if nothing else, you can try it and see if you like it. Um, I'd recommend trying different servers. I don't know where you're located in the world and what time you usually play, but um, you'll find different servers have different populations that play at different times. So the best thing to do is if, if you play different servers and get a feel for, hey, is there a bunch of people on the time I want to play normally, and try to get in a guild that plays at that time, and then you're better off, I think, doing that than trying to just stick with whatever server you want. Wayfinder is the least populated server. Um, I wouldn't recommend starting there. It's kind of difficult. You won't find as many groups and you won't find as much stuff in the auction house and stuff to buy. Um, things like that. But hey, if you're looking for a solo challenge, then that's the way to go. So, there's lots of reasons to like the game. Um, I really don't like any of the other MMOs kind of things I've tried. This is really the only game that really appeals to me. So take that for what it's worth. I didn't like WoW. Um, I don't see the point in Final Fantasy Online, some other stuff. Yeah, there's people on Twitter, there's people on Twitch, Facebook, uh, the forums, all sorts of places. <laughs> yeah. It's worth checking out. I mean, you, all you do is invest a little bit of time and see if you like it. If you don't, then, you know, whatever, move on. You didn't waste any money, at least. But a lot of us do enjoy it. I play on Flawless primarily. Um, there's people from pretty much every server that stream um, on this channel, in fact. There's a lot of people that stream from different servers at different times. You can see the schedule. I have not been playing from the beginning, but uh, shortly after I went free to play is when I started playing, and I, I've taken a couple breaks over the years, off and on, but I keep coming back to it, I keep enjoying it, it's a lot of fun. Yep, there's a lot of variety in how you play, what you play, what kind of builds you like. Some people only play dwarves, some people only play um, single class at a time, some people play multi-class, just people play permadeath, and you know, there's all sorts of other ways to play than just... I think that's one of the main things about it that I really enjoy is there's so many different ways to play and so many different classes and things to experience that even if you're playing the same quests, Playing it with a different, from when you're playing a different qua class, the same quest can be an entirely different experience. And your group makes a big difference too. Let's try not to get killed by the spinner this time. At Venom.
I've got all my resists and stuff on, and I'm still getting hit by that venom pretty hard. Whoa! Yeah, I mean, if that's what you want to do, that's what you want. People who play static groups, you know, where you play the same character with the same group, like once or twice a week. Um, some of those are permadeath. There's just a whole bunch of different ways to play. There's no enforced permadeath. There's no, like, Iron Man mode or whatever, but, you know, it's... If you die, you delete your character and you start over. That's how it goes, if that's the way you want to play. So... People do a lot of a lot of fun things with the game. Some people like to go fast and get as much questing in as possible. Some people like to go slow and explore every nook and cranny of every dungeon. You know, it just depends on how you want to play. Oh, yay! Plot time. If I can manage to not get killed here. Put your sunglasses on. It gets bright. Oh, what are we doing? Oh, yeah, I think I'm gonna stop here. I could do Beyond the Rift, but I think I'm gonna stop here. And, you know, there's not too many of these, but in this particular quest chain, there's a couple of FMV-style cutscenes, things. Unfortunately, we get to see most of this drider's butt instead of Lolf there in the gap, but you know. Yeah, I had a lot of fun with my Assassin Rogue. That was fun. I still need to play a Stick Rogue and a Thrower and a. Um, oh, I can't remember. There's a couple other classes, class uh, build styles I need to play. I'm not liking the paladin. I know some people swear by paladins and love them. I just, it's not really my thing. I'll be glad when this life's over. Oh, now is when I need to do this. Didn't I? Or I do. Oh, no, it's not complete yet. So this should be good. There it is. He's talking about roguelike as a style of game, not as a class. Evasive dodge bonus, or oh, that'd be good for my fighter that I that I used to be. Anyway, so I think that's it for me tonight. Uh, I know it was a short stream, but as I said, I have some personal stuff going on this week that. Uh, I want to have time for so um, about an hour and a half because I started a little bit early it, it's good uh, hold your ears I'll try to stop it as soon as it goes but it's there we go I didn't hear the boom so I think we made it in time heavy crossbow for paralore that's interesting I'll just take that whatever it is It was a fun group, but I really need to leave. And yeah, um, most Tuesdays I'm here uh, on this channel. I also stream on my personal channel sometimes. 
this week is not looking good for that. Um, we didn't do last week. Um, so yeah, maybe next week we might get an extra stream in uh, doing the Zerg show prep. We'll see. And I think I'm going to go down to mostly once a week streaming DDO. Um, I think I'll do Zerg show maybe once a month during this normal stream time. Um, we'll see. But anyway, this has been C Morgu on Twitchy Tuesdays. And uh, appreciate y'all watching and everything. And uh, here's more places you can contact me. Night City, Night Edward, Night Nathan, Night Mari, Iron Hands, Edward, everybody else. Thanks for watching and uh, good night. Rothko, see ya.